Hi everyone. Uh, this topic will talk about Delta DOP 100 uh, HMI link with uh, Mitsubishi Q series PLC via Ethernet. Uh, system architecture we use uh, Mitsubishi uh, Q03 uh, UDE CPU as example. Then we will link uh, to the Delta DOP 100 HMI. And you can see the IP address of uh, uh, Mitsubishi PLC will be uh, 192.168.3.39. Uh, this is the default IP address. Then uh, we set the uh, Delta DOP 100 uh, HMI IP address to 192.168.3.21. Next, we move to the Mitsubishi uh, Q uh, POC, or we can set the GX works to uh, setting. So after you uh, configure these settings, uh, please uh, remember to reset or power recycle the Q uh, CPU after you download the setting. So first of all, we will go to the PLC parameters. Second step, we will uh, click the built-in Ethernet port settings. And here is the IP address. And remember to set up the subnet uh, max pattern and uh, also the uh, default uh, router IP address. And after that, we will click the open setting. Then we will enter here uh, to select the MC protocol with the uh, port number uh, uh, 1025. And after that, uh, please remember to tick uh, Enable Online Change. And this is the testing program. Uh, next, we'll uh, move to the DLP100 uh, or DLP SOP or DIA screen uh, settings. So uh, for the controller, we will select a uh, Mitsubishi Q series uh, Ethernet with a uh, 3E frame. So this is the IP address of Q uh, CPU. So it will be uh, 192.167.3.39 uh, uh, with the port number uh, 1025 as mentioned over here. And next, we will modify the local host means uh, HMI IP address uh, to what we mentioned. Uh, 0.3.21 and then here uh, no need to set okay uh, for the HMI program so we will uh, define to our uh, bit device uh, so this will be a push button then uh, we can monitor the status of uh, M16 and then we can also check the value of uh, D1 and here is another to uh, data register D0 so we can uh, ch change and modify the uh, and check the value over here now we will move to the software portion. So first of all, here we will go to the PLC parameter settings. And then uh, click the built-in Ethernet port settings. And then uh, this is the IP address, as I mentioned. And you can set the uh, router IP address up to your in inquiry. Then uh, we click the open settings. So here, remember, uh, select the uh, MC protocol and set the uh, phone number to uh, one two five. Uh, here you just uh, set one is enough. Okay. Then uh, remember to uh, enable the online uh, change. Okay. And then uh, you can click and write the settings or pro and the program. So here we will take and then uh, execute uh, to download the program to uh, Qt CPU. Okay, so after finish, then we can switch to the HMI program. So here, uh, we will go to the general and go to the communication settings. So you can see uh, here we will select a Mitsubishi uh, Q-series Ethernet with a 3E frame, then define the IP address. Okay, and here you just keep the default or binary, and uh, this, it can be a uh, hexadecimal or decimal, doesn't matter. Then uh, it can be, uh, okay, then here we will define the IP address of this HMI. Okay, after that uh, we can uh, VNC access to the HMI. And we uh, switch our PLC to uh, monitor mode. And then uh, here you can uh, click, so you can see uh, when the M0 is true, uh, M16 will also on. Then, uh, this one also counts. And then we can modify the value. So you can see this one is for D0. And one more thing. Uh, 
you know, as I mentioned, uh, if you have uh, more than uh, one HMI will connect to the POC, so you can uh, set another uh, MC protocol with the same uh, host, uh, I mean the port number 1025. Uh, so that's all for uh, today's topic. Thank you.